Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Talking Bullion. Well, today we're going to do something a little different. I thought we'd take a look at a couple pieces of gold. You can see an American Gold Eagle. We have a quarter ounce and a tenth ounce. And I thought we'd go through and use the Sigma Metalytics verifier and check them out. Show you kind of the nuances, show you what works, show you what doesn't. And encourage anybody that is buying gold or even silver or anything else online or even from your local LCS to definitely take a look at it and verify it and make sure that what you're buying is real. So why don't we go ahead and take a look. All right, so I recently purchased both of these online off of some auctions, so not an online bullion dealer or anybody like that, off of some auctions. So I want to check them out, make sure they verify, and like I said earlier, even if they were from online bullion dealers, will it be Monument or JM Bullion or, you know, Bold or any of those, I would still check them. Because you got to figure these companies are buying them from somebody, somebody selling them, and are they verifying, are they checking, are they looking at every single one that comes into their shop, into their store? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt that they are. Maybe they are. Good business practices would say to do it. But I don't think they are a person. I think that'd be way too much work for them. So we have to do our own due diligence and make sure what we're buying is real. And that's why I like having a verifier. Sigma Metalytics verifier up there. We'll take a look at it here in a moment. We'll check these things out. Okay, so I've kind of been on a kick lately about buying some backdated American Gold Eagles. Trying to, you know, get a collection going. If I'm going to buy them, get something that I haven't bought before. So this is a 2013 quarter ounce American Gold Eagle. And this is a 2009 tenth ounce American Gold Eagle. All right. So why don't we go ahead and take a look and test them and see how they do. So I've got my Sigma machine here. Let's pull these over. Sigma Metalytics. Well, it's hard to say for some reason. Pull back a little bit here so you can see more on the screen like this. Okay. Maybe zoom in a little bit. All right. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. You have to hit uncalibrate. So I kind of wanted to show the nuances of measuring on the board here and using the wand. So at the board you have to fill up this ring here. So the first thing I'm going to do though is select which gold I have. If we go through our selections, we will see that there's one here for American Gold Eagles right there. Always got to hit the run calibrate whenever you change your selection. All right, so the first thing, let's try this quarter ounce and see if it'll work on this thing in the capsule. Let's put it down, and it does. So normally, you have to fill this ring. But because this is so close, it looks like it's working. But the good news is, it's testing fine, testing real. There we go. Now, to test it the right way, I should take it out of the capsule and put the wand on it, which we will do if I can get it out of the capsule. Sometimes these capsules are hard to open up. But if we put this tenth ounce on there, you can see, no way, this is not going to test. This is too far away from that border to test. So we're going to definitely have to take this out of the capsule. So let me see if I can get these out of the capsule. Okay, here we go. Got them out of the cap. So there's the quarter and there's the tenth. Let's just take a quick look at this beauty. Oh yeah. Is it nice or what? Love the shiny gold. Here we go. Alright. Very nice. That's a 2013. Let's go back here. And this is a 2009. Let's take a look at 
I mean, these, these 10 dumpsters are pretty small, but they are gold. So, BU condition, you know, you order them off somebody online and you hope that they come in as build, but these are obviously uh, very nice BU, great condition. All right, so what are we gonna do? Let's go ahead now that they're out of the capsule. Let's see if this still tests. I hope it doesn't. See, it's not it's not in that ring. And the capsule, I think, allows a little bit of variation. It allows it to kind of fill in a little bit because of the, you know, maybe the hardness around the rim here. Might kind of trick the verifier to think that's part of the part of the coin. But normally these should not test unless you use the wand. You see that this one isn't isn't even close. All right, so that's just how the verifier works. It needs some substance to check. So why don't we go ahead and plug in the wand. I have three different wands for this machine. Here's the smallest one. It's got a small little head on it, small little tap on it. And you plug it in and this light over here should light up as soon as I plug it in. So it moved over to the wand and because I plugged it in, now we have to hit run calibrate again. And if I wanted to go back to the other verifier sensor, I just do a select sensor. See how that lights up? Select sensor, select sensor, select sensor. Okay. And I will press run calibrate. You always have to do that. All right, so we're still on the American Gold Eagle and we are gonna test them. All right. So it just has to be anywhere within the brackets. You can see it's in the brackets. Now one of the things you want to try to do is find a completely smooth spot. This verifier needs to have this surface on the coin. A lot of times if you have a bunch of lumps or ridges or writing, it can impact how the verifier reads. But you can see here, this is testing out just fine. All right, let's flip it over and let's take a look at the back. Get this out of the way. Yep. It is a nice quarter ounce that I received off the internet that tests out just fine. All right, so let's look at this 10th ouncer. Let's put this here and let's check this out. Well, we got to get a good spot. Remember, it's got to be on a flat surface. There you go. That tests. That tests. The biggest challenge, especially with these smaller ones, is finding the good spot to hit it. So. This is clearly uh, testing out to be a you know, genuine American Gold Eagle. There we go, trying to find some flat. But you can see with the design of this coin, with these eagles and everything on the back of it, it would be pretty hard to find a flat spot. Right up, right up at the top, maybe it would be your best spot. Maybe up here, if we can get that sensor in there. You have a test right there. All right, so that's how you use the Sigma Metalytics. And the same would hold true for any silver that you're measuring. Because silver is going to have the same thing. It needs to fill up that circle if you're going to use this sensor. And you can use the wand if it can't. And you got to watch the capsules. Now, ounces of silver in a capsule will, you know, usually work because an ounce coin is going to be bigger than that bigger than that band. So I'm going to go ahead and get this back together. Boom. And let's get this one back. I want to protect, got to protect the gold. I don't put most of my silver in capsules unless there's something special, but all my gold goes in capsules. Fortunately, these came in capsules. Saved me, you know, a buck, a little more than a buck from, uh, Having it by myself, which is always nice. All right, so got those done. And then something else, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the wand here. And something else I'm kind of wanting to test. I got a few things sitting here. And I wanted to test one of these new Geiger bars that I recently bought. And uh, just as long as I have the machine out, I wanted to show you this, how the silver works. So this is 99.9, .9, so the first thing we have to do is we have to 
go back and select the silver which is right there and we come across to 99.9 pure on calibrate now we're not going to be able to do it on the back because of the certificate right it's not going to work oh it actually does i guess if it can make it through a capsule why can't it make it through a piece of paper right this side you know has a lot of uh it's not really that flat but you can see here it is testing so that's pretty cool so that's how you test uh silver and again we could use the wand, I'm sure, so let's plug in the wand. I mean, you don't need to, but let's see how it reacts to the wand here. All right, let's put it on here. Yep, test with the wand, too. So that's cool. Gotta love that. All right, so let's select our other sensor. Whenever you hit the wrong calibrate, you don't want to have anything on top of the sensor when you're calibrating. And here's another piece of silver I happen to have sitting around. This Royal Canadian Mint RCM. I love these things because they're serialized. Just a nice, nice piece of bullion for sure. So why don't we go ahead and test this? Oh yeah, We're right dead center in that one. Very nice. Now I really don't like these plastic sleeves. Look at that. Perfect. If they come in, now these are from the manufacturer. These are how, how they shipped. I mean, as long as there's not a hole in it, I'll go ahead and leave it in there instead of spending a couple bucks for a case. But I'd really prefer to have something like this in a, you know, hard case. Now, this says four nines, not three nines. And obviously it's going to test for three nines because it's better than three nines. But let's select the four nines. Let's go back. Here we are. We have a four nine selection on this too. So why don't we go ahead and place a sample for that one. Look at that, right dead center. Four nines fine. Let's take one of these Geiger bars and put it on, because let's see, Geiger says, and their cert, oh, it actually says four nines here too. Look at that, four nines. So let's put that on here, with it being four nines. Here we go. Pretty cool, huh? Got some pure silver here. This is awesome. Pretty nice, huh? So that's a real basic summary of how the Sigma Metalletics works. This is a great machine to have. It's not perfect. You can find plenty of videos where this machine's been fooled and uh, thinking something else. And I've actually found an example of that myself and I wrote Sigma a while back and asked him about it. But uh, it's, it's, it's really nice to, to help confirm which get. I'm completely confident with these gold coins because there's a gold setting that we're good. And that's really, I mean, you're spending a lot of money on your gold, right? You want your gold to be good. So, yeah. I just thought it'd be interesting to go through and, and check this stuff out and, and see how it works. and. For anybody, you know, kind of on the fence about buying one, they're pretty expensive nowadays, and for a while there, they were kind of hard to get. But I think they're available again. You can find them, and you're gonna you're gonna pay out a lot of money. But I tell you, if it saves you from buying one bad half ounce gold coin, it's paid for itself. And that's one of the biggest reasons to buy it is just for the insurance, right? Now, if I would have tested this and it was bad, I would have you know got back to the person and said, hey. Here's my results, here's my findings. I am very unhappy with this purchase, and you know, we'd, we'd have to deal with that. But overall, I've been very, uh, very fortunate, and the stuff I buy has all been good. And it just makes me feel better that I can confirm that. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and always remember let's keep talking bullion.